Hi there, Chris here. <laughs> so I was watching Drinking Time live and they were ragging on me saying my lock lab is <laughs> too messy. I, I cleaned it up but, and then it got messy again. So I've cleaned it up one more time. It won't stay that way. Um, but I did want to show that now Slinky has a nice area to come through. She can come through around the other side. And so there you go. I'll put this back in the silly camera holder or phone holder. And somebody asked, uh, I can't remember who, they mentioned, oh, you seem to have a lot of distatainer tools. Uh, can you do a video on what do you think the best one is or talk about that anyway so i will try and do that <laughs> it's a deep subject here at least in my lock lab uh, i started out with the sparrows and these are still these are still 45 bucks they're nice you put the little jacket on that um talon pick uh, made and uh lock chuck produced for me uh it works great and you can put the adjustable nose on and, and like that. Actually, I didn't act, I did not actually start there. Hold on. We gotta go way back. This is where I started. Right here. And this is what I opened my first DD lock with. And uh, they're not all created equal. So maybe this one, maybe I have it under here. But they do, oh, with some modifications, they do open DD locks. Yeah, this one's modified. So, um, this one's really wiggly. I know Steve Holder has a one that isn't as wiggly, but this is really the first one I opened a uh, DD lock with. And it took me about almost two years to open the first one, and I did it with this, and I had no idea what I was doing. So... <laughs> so moving on, then I got sparrows, and then not too long after that, I got a silver bullet. And if you got these earlier silver bullets, you might have thought that they would pick Abloy Classics. Uh, they do not. the The stuff you got did not. They were about three hundred and fifty bucks plus shipping from the UK. Actually, I got to backtrack again. Downfall Industries, I believe it's called, um, made a version of this, and it was plastic. And I messed around with that, and the, that was a hundred bucks. They were okay, but and then I got one of these, which is not adjusted correctly. Obviously, I'm not real good at this. Um, this one really requires you to be in a vice, and it's best seemingly best to pick it in the vertical position um they have a new one and the new one comes with every single tip for all the different alloys and a bunch of other tips it's also about 650 bucks plus shipping from uk now um brett has one and he's very very good with it and if i were a vice picker no, I still wouldn't do it. I'm pissed off at him because after buying this, after buying um, one of their downfall, not downfall, I'm sorry, lockfall, um, plastic ones, and inquiring and inquiring about getting a tip for uh, a classic abloy, no, 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 no. And, you know, they didn't take care of their customers, so... I'm a little pissed off about that. So then what did I do? Oh, here it is. This is for, uh, supposed to be for Avis. Never, ever, ever fit the Avis. This is a, um, who, what is it? A Huck, I think. Uh, it's a very, very nice tool, and I think... Um, it, it didn't fit. I had to modify it and I had it went round and round with them and said, Hey, you know, they said, well, 
I gave them a bad review and they said, well, we'll send you a new uh, one that will actually fit if you take off the review and, uh, you know, screw that. <laughs> so, but this with the, if you put the right stuff in it, which you can, would be a very good pick. Um, that was, I think, a hundred bucks. Going back, I, I backtrack. I go forward, I backtrack. This is an earlier version. Um... This will pick Abloy Classics, and once again, it did not fit, but I did file it down and adjust it, and it fits great. Moving on to this version, once again, it did not fit. I have bought two of these. I gave one away, but um, Bandito, I can't, I can't do it. He did a video on, on how to, to prepare these, and it's a brilliant video. And once you do that, they work very, very well. Now, also about the same time, let's move some of these out of here. Uh, I bought this one. This one was about three fifty dollars from Sparrows Plus. Uh, it was about 400 bucks by the time I got it. Um, this is, I can't remember what they call this one. But you've all seen it. In my mind... For and now this is just for classics, so, you know, just for um Abloh classics. This is brilliant. I mean, it's all indexed, it's indexed here, it's indexed here, in all these little lines. The setup is simple and never slips. It's two giant um Allen Allen screws. So if you can afford it and you want to pick classics, get this. Um, I can't say enough about that. I, I think really, I really took off with that voice when I got this. Um, this one works almost as well. I had trouble with it in the beginning because it picks the opposite of this. And I always would get lost. So we'll put that there, put that there. Then I bought this, which is the Aries. Uh, from Multipick, it's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliantly engineered tool, but I think it's way over-engineered. Uh, maybe not, but it does so many different locks and so many different setups that it's really difficult to learn all those setups. And once again, it's not one that you can really pick. You can't hold a lock and pick in hand. So... I can't really recommend this, maybe if you're a locksmith, um, because it'll pick dimples and it'll pick classics and it'll pick a, a ton of stuff. Uh, it's gorgeous. I don't use it. Then, this is the Rob Long Lawn. Um, I think it's the Generation 3. This is a brilliant, brilliant tool. It is absolutely wonderful. I have it set up right here now for, if I turn this around correctly. Um, what do I have that set up for? Oh, Anchor Lass. And it has nice gradations and has two different scales here. It takes a bit to set it up. Um, and it, But it has great, great platform for, for feeling and and all that gives great feedback brilliant tool these i can't remember the price but <clears throat> they are definitely a deal at that price and you get different tips this one comes fully ready you also get a standard tip that's fully ready you get materials to make a classic tip rob long lawn brilliant 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 we'll put that there then I bought somewhere in there. I bought this is was from Hazardous Manufacturing, and you could buy this 3D printed little guy, and you could get. I think these are some of the supplies. So it's a do it do it yourself deal. And let's see. You put a little plastic insert in here. That. Uh, aligns this so you don't have the wiggle and it helps pinch the picking tip well 
and uh, it's a little sketchy even even when I figured it out how to use that little press-in thing. Uh, it still feels like I would have to over-tighten these to make it uh, to make the tip not slip and strip out this plastic, although it's very, very hard 3D printed plastic. So, an option. Let's see. Then we have Talon Pick who designed these, and this is the third or fourth generation. These are brilliant. Um, if you have somebody who can who can 3D print you a, a, a up a set of this and all the little goodies, I put all my goodies away. You can, if you just have the sparrows, you can get this one. I have this one set up short without a nose, but it's even a, a more stable platform, even without the adjustable screw on nose. So that is. That's my run through. What would I recommend? I would recommend this and making your own stuff. Um, this took me, I watched, or I made this watching the DD tutorial with Lock Chuck and Lady Locks. Took me about 15 minutes. And this chunky tip I made up for picking Dysons. And that took me, well, I don't know how long. Maybe, you know, 15 minutes, and I did it from these that I got from AliExpress. So, anyway, ask a question, leave a comment, do subscribe. Um, if I can answer your question, I will. If I can't, I will try and find an answer for you. Anyway, that is a quick ramble through about a billion DD picking tools. We will see you next time.